Okay, I'm gonna talk about the wire. I don't know how much I can act like this video can't be that long and there's a lot to say, but Omar Little is one of my favorite TV characters now, along with Kareem Sid from Oz. I think both of the actors should have won Emmys and the fact that they didn't is like a slap in the face to talent because they're both so talented. Um, Omar was complex. He didn't kill innocent people though, which I appreciate. Um, there's a character named Chris and he's terrifying. Like he will kill anybody and it's scary, like and for no reason. They could just be innocent. He shot he killed a woman who was restocking shelves at the convenience store. So yeah, like he would shoot and kill anyone. He put a gun in a woman in a mother's face. While she was asleep because he wanted to know where her son was so he could kill him. It was just, Chris was scary. He was terrifying. Kind of reminds me of um, Vernon from Oz, although Vernon is still the scariest villain. Like, he is awful. He's like, Challenger is, I think, will always be one of the worst TV villains of all time. He's so bad. He's like scary. And then Simon, I'm not even gonna put try to pronounce his name from Oz, the tiny hat. He was scary too. But <laughs> but Chris, oh my god, terrifying. Um and I loved D'Angelo. I loved Wallace. I loved um Bodie. I loved Mc McNutley. McNuck McNutley. <laughs> I loved Lester. I loved Bubbles. Bubbles and Omar are my favorite characters on the show. Um, I felt bad for Michael. So bad for him. Um, I loved... I can't believe I don't remember his name. Right but he was the one that got adopted by Bunny. And... I love that he got out of the situation that he was in and got to live in a house of people that cared about him. But I can't not remember his name. And to be honest, I could not ever remember his name. Like, and it's bad. I remember, like, Randy, and he was barely in it. So, I don't know. But I'm, if you know who, you know who I'm talking about, if you saw the show, but I liked him a lot too. Um,. I liked Kemma and then literally the last two episodes of this entire series, I didn't like her anymore. <laughs> like, I completely get why she did what she did, but she hurt Lester, and that's not cool to me, so I don't like her anymore. <laughs> um, at all, and then I'm trying to think if there's anyone else that I really liked on the show. Except for Omar Bubbles, D'Angelo Wallace, um, Avon. Oh, I got about Avon. I love Avon. Um, oh, and uh, Idris, Idris Elba's character, Shinger Bell. Yeah. Um, yes, there you go. I love him. Um,. Who else? Is there anyone else? I can't really. Oh, and um, I cannot. I cannot think of people's names. The teacher, the cop that turned into a teacher, and I cannot remember. I cannot remember who is what his name is. I liked him. He kind of didn't make the list until almost the final season. So. <laughs> Uh, he grew on me though. And then, um, the other cop that takes Van to the group home. I don't remember his name because I don't like him. I honestly did not like him until that episode. Um, and then he kind of changed, but I was like, no. So I didn't really care about his name, but I don't like him. And now I don't remember his name. So. But I liked him towards the end. 
Um, but the show was so good. It was so, it was just like, it was funny. It was sad. It was real. Um, the show, what the drug life was like and what the FBI and all that is like and the conflicts between them, between the cops and the drug dealers and the gang members and how, um, you know, it was really like Black Lives Matter kind of situation a lot of the time. Um, not a lot, but it happened to the end of the series. Uh, and it was really sad because, like, nothing has changed, you know? Um, they pulled over a minister. Yeah. <laughs> and that didn't go well. Um, for other people who pulled him over. But it's, it, it, it just... HBO has good shows. Oz is still the best, in my opinion. I think Oz is so underrated, and it shouldn't be, and it's just great. And then Sopranos is great, and The Wire is great, and the next one I'm going to watch is Six Feet Under. Um, and I'm super excited for it. I didn't like Deadwood. That's the only one I didn't like. I don't know why, but I just didn't like it. Um, but, yeah, that is all. Goodbye.